Biological clock The evolution of the internal biological clock, which is also known as the circadian rhythm, is directly linked to the 24-hour cycle of day and night on Earth and was first recognized centuries ago, when botanists saw its importance in plants due to the effect that light had on the flowering of plants and in their preparations for winter. Only in the past four decades, however, have researchers discovered that there is a biological clock in animals, following this revelation, they have endeavored to understand how it is controlled. After establishing the existence of biological clocks in fauna, the results of the initial studies and new advances in neurological studies led researchers to further explore the mechanisms by which organisms were able to adjust their timing. Preliminary findings indicated that the circadian rhythm was not a true 24-hour sequence, but rather species showed wide variation, from 20-hour to 28-hour periods, in which those kept in isolation would eventually fall out of sync with the natural environment. In contrast, those which were kept in a normal environment seemed unaffected with no exhibitions of periodic distortions which conclusively showed the necessity of sunlight, yet the exact mechanism remained obscured until the discovery of melanopsin, a blue light-sensitive protein in the retina. When the eye is exposed to bright light, the protein is created and sent to the suprachiasmatic nuclei SCN in the brain and thus, upon receipt of this photoreceptor, the SCN performs minor adjustments and ensures that the internal time is kept concurrent with the environment. Without regular exposure to sunlight or for those unable to produce melanopsin a side effect, which occurs in some types of blindness. Their internal timepieces have no way to reset and they will have trouble sleeping and waking at regular intervals. A similar effect was also observed in rats which had their SCN removed during an experiment, to prove the SCN was the control of the body's clock, which, even when dissected out of the brain, continued sending forth a steady stream of proteins that functioned as messengers, keeping all the visceral organs in time, which diurnally raises basal temperatures, releases cortisol, and elevates blood pressure in anticipation of a day of activity. While in the evening, melatonin, growth hormones, and other hormones are released as the body prepares for sleep, and as a consequence, people with short-term aberrant sleep patterns can face substantial repercussions, since hormone production becomes erratic, if the circadian rhythm is broken and leads to disorientation and insomnia. Continually irregular resting schedules especially disruptions during major developmental phases, can have resultant negative impacts on the individual's growth. Once the SCN was recognized as the control center, the next step, in an effort to understand how to control the cycle, was to identify the genes which regulated the mechanism, and since the fruit fly was one of the most studied subjects in genetics, it was naturally the first animal in which specific gene sequence was identified. However, it took an additional 17 years for the DNA sequences that control the rhythms in mammals to be discovered first in 1988. Hamsters with a defective DNA sequence, known as the circadian locomotor output cycles caput or clock gene, sent faulty signals to the SCN which thus kept them from ever establishing the regular circadian rhythm. Without this internal feedback mechanism, the hamster would eat, drink, and sleep at irregular intervals, exhibiting no periodicity, although surprisingly the amounts it ate, drank, and slept showed no deviation from those of a normal hamster. In humans, a similar mechanism is in existence, which serves the same function. However, since people consciously fight their natural biological cycle, there has been considerable research devoted to trying to understand human rhythms. 
For example, people who travel from one time zone to another often experience physiological symptoms such as nausea, irritability, and insomnia. Some disorders previously thought to be psychological have also recently been found that they are affected by the circadian rhythm. Generally, exposure to sunlight will eventually help reset the body's inner alignment, but during the winter, the shorter days can exacerbate the problem and lead to seasonal affective disorder. A form of depression, it has been linked to increased drug and alcohol abuse as well as suicide but due to increased understanding of the causes, treatments such as light therapy have been developed to aid those afflicted by equalizing their hormone levels.